Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Rob Benke. I'm the CEO and co-founder over at Halborn. Um, Halborn, we're an elite blockchain security company, and I could not be more thrilled to welcome you all to the first ever Access Summit. And you know, we're, we're really looking at this as a premier gathering of enterprise digital asset leaders to really come in together, talk about risk and security. So. Distributed ledger technology represents one of the biggest paradigm shifts in all of technology. You know, major banks, insurers, manufacturers, it doesn't matter, name a company out there and they're exploring how to leverage and harness this technology right now. Um, they're looking at it to reduce costs, to boost efficiencies, to uh, really just maintain a competitive edge. And you know, I'm looking around, there's a lot of people in this room who have been in this space for a long time. It's really hard to believe that it was only 14 years ago that the Bitcoin white paper was released, and arguably only about seven years before blockchains kind of became mainstream even. So at this point, we're seven years into that. Lots of companies have been exploring this, and it's... The year 2023, just in case anyone's uh, counting and checking. And at this point, we can now say something with a certain degree, with a large degree of certainty. Enterprises implementing blockchain reduce transaction settlement times from days to minutes while slashing reconciliation expenses up to 70%. So we're way past the hype phase at this point. We're way past the prototype phase. There is clear use cases out there now that uh, really go into precisely why we're here today. There's a really big problem, though. This new tech stack faces daunting new risks, um, things that just most companies aren't fully uh, prepared to set up and really understand. So in our everyday life at Halborn, we speak directly with security teams that all echo the same challenges. Um, there's a shortage of individuals with sort of the requisite knowledge and skill set out there. Um, there really is barely any actual proper standardization. Yes, many quorums have come together to talk about those standards, um, but there's no things like NIST or COBIT or COSO out there just yet. I know lots of teams are working on it. That's what we're here to do um, throughout Access. Um, you know, there's also strict mandates. So there's a lot of hiring difficulties in the digital assets space right now because of RTO mandates and so on. And then, you know, in our everyday life at Halborn, I feel like I walk into, you know, into our fully remote office, I walk in and every single day it's yet a new hack that's happened. Um, so there's new exploits. So given this new and emerging landscape, what we did was we looked around and, you know, a lot of our folks right now uh, are over at Black Hat wrapping up over at DEF CON right now. Uh, you know, you have RSA, you have so many traditional security gatherings, right? Uh, we're also happy that the more, you know, specific cryptocurrency industries come together. And there's actually a DeFi security summit that we were part of this year, as well as uh, the SANS virtual blockchain summit as well. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, there wasn't really a place for industry leaders in enterprise digital assets to come together and talk about these challenges. So that's why we put together Access. I definitely am doing a little bit of borrowing right now from Black Hat. You know, when Black Hat came out, they, 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 they had a very specific uh, mission statement. So I went ahead and created a mission statement for Access. So while many conferences focus on information, network, or public blockchain security, Access Summit brings together digital asset industry leaders at the intersection of business technology, risk, security. So come and join us as we cut through the hype and complexity to spotlight actionable strategies for protecting, uh, for protecting your digital asset initiatives and leveraging distributed ledgers securely. This is really us talking about the intentions of us coming together here today. So why are we doing this? Why are we all here on a Friday in August? Uh, we're here to come together and talk about um, three really specific things that we wanna leave here today with. So we wanna leave here today with perspective. There are 
You're, you're in a room together with your industry peers right now. Please go mingle, go talk. There's a lot of conversations. You're all dealing with sort of the same uphill battles at your different organizations. So we want you to have that perspective. We also want to talk about education. Most of the panels up here today um, were highly, highly focused on is this providing maximum value to our audience? So that's what we're here to do today as well. And then preparedness. We want to talk about the latest trends. We want you to be able to leave today knowing about these things, knowing about the, the latest threats. So, you know, today we're going to co cover things like custody, supply chain attacks, uh, you know, phishing schemes, and more, all tailored to digital asset management. So over the next six hours, we're going to cover several things. We're going to cover institutional security challenges for DLT, uh, bridging the gap between digital assets and corporate world, you know, all the privacy considerations that you could think through. Uh, highly recommend our 11 o'clock keynote on how we're thinking about the world of what a blockchain-related OSI model could look like. And uh, for the security professionals out there, you know, a CVSS calculator, well, we're going to premiere a BVSS calculator, a blockchain-specific one. Um, custody best practices, you know, we're hearing a lot out there. Are you going to build or are you going to buy, you know, custody solutions? So we have a couple leaders talking about that. Um, risk, you know, I know that this was billed really as a security uh, summit. At the end of the day, risk and security going hand in hand. We're going to have a panel specifically talking about risk, resiliency, and operational security. Um, we do have a couple ideas on what the world of preventative security would look like uh, in the world of uh, DLT. So, you know, two o'clock, we're going to talk about that. Of course, you know, it wouldn't be a, a DLT conference if we didn't have a panel talking about tokenization. And then, of course, a CISO roundtable talking about the latest going on with CISOs. At the end of the day, we are setting our intentions. This is just the start. Um, and again, I could not be more proud and you know, thankful for everyone in this room to be joining today. Um, really looking forward to exploring everything that we have going on in this industry. And, you know, welcome to the future. So thank you for joining.